guys, welcome back to our dinosaur story time here at Dundee Science Center. Now, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be making some fossils and we're gonna be making them out of something called salt dough. So to make your salt dough, you're going to need two parts flour, one part uh, salt, and one part water with a little bit of extra just in case it gets a little bit dry. And then you'll need a bowl and some dinosaur toys. So I've got a little container here full of them. You can use whatever dinosaur. If you don't have any dinosaur toys, you can always use um, a toothpick or even your finger and you can make an impression yourself. So what we're gonna do is start with our flour. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add our flour to our bowl. And then I'm going to add salt to the bowl as well. And I'm gonna mix that up with my fingers just a little bit, just to gonna kinda get the salt and the flour mixed together. This is gonna be a kind of messy craft today, so it's okay to get your fingers, fingers in there. And then you wanna start pouring the water in, but you don't wanna pour it all in at once. Do a little bit at a time, and then mix it together. You could use a fork or a spoon with this if you wanted to, but I think it's more fun to get your fingers in there. And if you feel like it's a little bit too dry, you add a little bit more water. If you feel like it's a little bit too wet, you can add a little bit more flour and salt. There's no perfect way. Just kind of feel it out. It's starting to get there, so it's a little bit crumbly still. So at this point, I think I still want a little bit more water. always easier to add more water than to add more flour. So you want to add just a little bit of water at a time. Once you feel like it's sticky, but it's sticking together, then you can just keep kneading it, which means just squeezing like this. And it should eventually come to a nice ball. And it usually um, gets to a point where it actually feels very smooth. The dough feels really smooth. And so once it gets to that point, you'll know that it's pretty ready. All right, so I've got a little bit left down here in the bottom. If I wanted to add it, I would just add a little bit more water, but this is enough for what I want to do today. All right, so I've got a nice little ball of dough here. I'm gonna knead this a little bit more until it's a little bit smoother. Now you won't need necessarily this whole amount. You can do more or less depending on how many fossils you want to make as well. All right, so that is my salt dough. Okay, and I'm going to take just a small amount. I have small toys, so I don't need a big amount. If you have a bigger toy, obviously you, you'll want to use some more. And you want to roll it in your hands to make a nice little ball. And I'll move this out of the way so you can see. And then, using your hand, squish it down. Make it nice and flat. Just like that. Now you don't, you don't want it totally flat because you still want to be able to see your dinosaur in it. So, when we're talking about dinosaur fossils, we're talking about pieces of dinosaur or dinosaur bones that got stuck in the mud for a long, long time and they turned into these rocks that have dinosaur bones in them. So I'm going to take a dinosaur and I think I want to use, oh, here's a triceratops. I like my triceratops, so I'm going to use my triceratops and I'm going to press my triceratops into my clay or my dough, like that. And you want to push pretty hard because you want a really good impression. Then, once you think, think it's about as far in as it'll go, very, very carefully, 
pull it back out. There we go. And that is my dinosaur fossil. And you can make as many of these, you could paint them, you can let them dry, they'll dry really hard when you're done. Um, and so you could, you could bake them in the oven to dry them even faster or you can just leave them out. And then you can actually paint them and glaze them and use them as decorations. All right, stay tuned next week and we will be making some more fun crafts to go with our story.